Impossible Quest was actually inspired by a game that I used to play with my brother and my sister when I was a child. We didn't have a many television, and so all we ever did was read books, write stories, poems and plays, and play these incredibly um, complex imaginary games. Um, the game was called Saving the Princesses, and we used to play it, um, we would make ourselves swords out of sticks and we would make ourselves cloaks out of old clothes and we would just, you know, act out this incredibly dramatic and fun game out in the bush near where we lived. And um, I used to tell my own children about this game and to my, my delight they picked it up and they began to play it as well. And I would often play, you know, with them, would, would, would play every day walking to school. So walking to school was a favourite part of their day. Um, and the whole time I'm playing this game with my young children, I keep thinking, what a fantastic story this is. What a great book it would make. And so I, I began to think about turning it into a book or into a series of books. Um, now, The Impossible Quest tells a story of four um, mismatched heroes. Um, you know, none of them are actually really good friends when they start. They're actually, there's a little bit of tension between them. The, you know, the four heroes are uh, Tom, who's the son of the castle cook. And, um, you know, he, he spends his day scrubbing pots and peeling potatoes. He's never been taught to fight. Um, and then we have Lord Sebastian, who is a squire, who has been taught to fight. And he swaggers about, he's full of confidence, he's quite brash. He's, he's, he's almost a bully, except that he doesn't really mean to be, yeah. <laughs> to be like that. He's, he just doesn't really understand how arrogant he can seem. And then we have Lady Eleanor, who is the daughter of the Lord of Wolfhaven Castle. And, you know, she's been brought up to be very prim and proper and very well behaved. And she has an extremely strict governess who never lets her laugh or smile or run or play. And so poor Eleanor has been, you know, constrained all of her life. And then we have Quinn, who's this wild witch girl. And when we played the game, I always played Quinn. You need to understand. Because I do a really, really good kind of witch's cackle. <laughs> and so um, I love Quinn because she's... You know, very sure of herself. She likes to think that she can work magic. She has a very mysterious past and no one knows where she came from or who her parents are. And one day their castle is attacked and invaded and these four mismatched heroes are the only ones to escape being caught and imprisoned. And so they must set out on this impossible quest to try and save their families. And the... Along the way, they have all sorts of uh, extraordinary adventures, but as they, as they travel, they learn to know each other and to know themselves a lot better, and they, and they discover a, ho a whole host of things about their world and about themselves that they could never have imagined. Mm -hmm. So that's the story. <laughs>